Mr. Zelico, welcome. We await your testimony. Philip Zelico was a key advisor to former Secretary of State Condoleezza Rice when he warned that waterboarding and other interrogation techniques used against suspected al-Qaeda prisoners qualified as illegal under the U.S. War Crimes Code. Zelico told U.S. Senators the memos not only went unheeded... I heard the memo was not considered appropriate for further discussion and that copies of my memo should be collected and destroyed. This particular memo has evidently been located in state's files and is being reviewed for declassification. Zelico says he suspects the office of former Vice President Dick Cheney was behind the attempted cover-up. It's the latest turn in the debate that's followed the Obama administration's release of memos documenting how Bush administration lawyers provided the green light for what many call torture. I could not imagine any federal court in America agreeing that the entire CIA program could be conducted and it would not violate the American Constitution. Cheney defends those methods and is asking for declassification of evidence that they provided valuable intelligence. But they didn't put out the memos that show the success of the effort. But I know specifically of reports that I read, that I saw, that lay out what we learned through the interrogation process. But that's not the view of former FBI interrogator Ali Sufan, seen here in a 2001 photo. Testifying behind a screen, Sufan called the methods not only immoral, but unhelpful. These techniques, from an operational perspective, are slow, ineffective, unreliable, and harmful to our efforts to defeat al-Qaeda. Sufan said he and a CIA psychologist objected when private contractors subjected alleged al-Qaeda member Abu Zubaydah to waterboarding 83 times. An indication that Abu Zubaydah had already called his interrogator's bluff. In contrast, when we interrogated him using intelligent interrogation methods, within the first hour, we gained important actionable intelligence. Republican senators backed Cheney's position that other prisoners under alleged torture yielded good information. But the Senate testimony demonstrates that even within the Bush administration's top levels, its interrogation methods were strongly questioned. Tom Ackerman, Al Jazeera, Washington.